Happy Friday, Vikes. Did you know that you could get a ticket for not scraping your windshield? Really? Well, the SAVE team is giving away free ice scrapers to anyone who needs one. Stop by the security office or guidance room to pick one up. But hey, did you know that another group of seniors did a community service project? I did not. Let's go check it out. Yeah, we're here at uh, the Haunted Trail. We're helping them get uh, everything ready for uh, the holiday season. We're moving around uh, some stuff to store it from their summer season so they can get ready for Halloween and Christmas stuff. So basically what we've been doing is that we've been moving mattresses upstairs that were down here and making sure that a lot of the props and stuff they have in there is organized. Okay. Um, it matters to me because uh, it's difficult for a lot of people to get a lot of work done on their own. I think it's great for us to be able to come out here. I mean, it feels great to be able to give back to a community that has actually done a lot for us. And I think it's very beneficial for us to be able to do this. Yeah, volunteering is always important. Uh, making your community a better place is always a positive thing that students can do. And I think uh, Seaman is a great school with a lot of great students. And it's a good opportunity to show the community just how good uh, the Seaman students are and how willing they are to help and uh, get out of school for half a day so that's always good too. I guess that I know a lot of seniors tend to skip but I'm actually having a really fun day because I was very reluctant to come out today. I was actually planning to skip but it, I'm actually having a lot of fun working with people that I thoroughly enjoy being around. Wow that was really cool. Now for your daily news. Today is the last day to order a shirt for Robotics Club. Turn in your order form to Mr. Coon. The Fine Arts Booster Club is offering a $100 gift card to the winning banner design representing the fine arts. The deadline is December 21st. The winning design will be selected on January 28th. Please be aware of the increased vehicle burglaries in the area. A stolen laptop could cost you $850. Now over to Kaylee with the sports. When in the cafeteria, make sure to do the following. Use your manners. Thank you. You're welcome. Follow the lunchroom procedures. Respect and appreciate the lunch staff. Thank you. Have an awesome day. Be welcoming to all. That test in English was hard. What'd you get on it? Use quiet voices and appropriate language. Report all bullying. Clean up after yourself. Be a Viking. Respect the cafeteria. Seaman strong. Honey, where's my SDTV? The school musical this year is Legally Blonde, and it's coming up soon. Clinics are December 3rd and 4th at 3.30. Auditions are December 5th at 3.30, and callbacks are December 6th at 3.30. For more details, see Mrs. Murphy and W7 or Mr. Bond in the choir room. Congratulations to Shayla Myrick, who signed a national letter of intent to play volleyball at Pittsburgh State University this morning. That's all for sports. Now over to Josh for the winter weather watch. Good afternoon to you. We do have some rain on the way tonight. Shouldn't be too strong of thunderstorms here locally, but down to our south, there is an enhanced risk for severe weather today in southeast Oklahoma, Arkansas, Texas, and Louisiana. So heads up if you know anyone down there, they could be dealing with large hail, damaging winds, and tornadoes. Here, though, it's just some rain for the next several hours through 3 p.m. Drizzle or possibly some showers. We could catch a break head to, heading toward 8 p.m., but our attention shifts again to this area in south central Kansas for developing thunderstorms. And by midnight, we expect widespread thunderstorms over the eastern portions of the state. And with all this heavy rain, 
looking at a half inch to an inch with locally higher amounts tonight. So yes, very uh, good amount of moisture here coming our way tonight. And this system on the back side of it does have some more moisture to work with and colder air could mean a rain snow mix at times on Saturday. It's not going to last, be lasting the whole day or be very heavy, but throughout the day on Saturday, there could be a periodic rain and snow mix. Then Sunday morning, some more light snow, but the better chance for snow kind of develops here Sunday evening and into Monday. The best chance near the Kansas-Nebraska border with decreasing chances further south, but I do think we'll likely see snow at some point Sunday evening through Monday morning. And checking out the snowfall forecast, we're calling for a trace to one inch of snow. It's going to be a pretty slushy accumulation because the roads are going to be wet and temperatures not too far below freezing, mainly happening Sunday night. So just watch for slick spots Sunday mor or Monday morning if on your way to school. And now for your SVTV seven day forecast, you can see that we do cool down drastically after a nice day tomorrow. Highs in the 30s for much of next week. And now for your 2018-2019 winter weather outlook. It's that time of year again. We start to wonder whether the winter will be mild, cold, dry, or wet. There are some crazy theories to answer this question, but I found that the best way is through science. Before we get too far into the forecast, Let's take a quick look back at the month of November, which is sometimes a sign of patterns to come. So far, this November has featured just 6 days with above average temperatures and a whopping 21 days with below average temperatures. Overall, we are 7 degrees below average for the month, which is our biggest departure from normal since May. In terms of precipitation, it has been a predominantly dry month, but because of the cold temperatures, a lot of what has fallen has been snow. We received 8 inches of accumulation this month. Now for my thoughts on meteorological winter, which starts tomorrow. I think the first week of December continues the pattern we've been stuck in over the past few weeks with cold temperatures and more snow. However, as we head toward the middle of the month, I think we'll start to see the return of a more typical weather pattern with milder conditions. There will still be occasional cold snaps, but they won't be quite as frequent or long-lived as the ones we've been dealing with recently. Confidence in the outlook decreases for the second half of winter, but I don't see many signs that would suggest anything as abnormal as what we've seen this month, so we'll likely end up within a couple degrees of average as a whole this winter. As far as precipitation goes, it will be a wet start, but overall, I'm expecting a near to slightly wetter than average winter this year. In terms of snowfall, we averaged 17.8 inches, but since we've already gotten 8.5 inches of snow, I'm forecasting a grand total between 20 and 25 inches this winter. That's all for today. Have a fun and safe weekend.